we're going to find the volume of a rotation. And this is in the uh, integration using partial fractions. We can either find it with disks or shells. And if we think about the way disks work, you're going to have to square your function. Do we really want to square this fraction? The short answer is definitely not. Uh, shells would be less bad because we're going to multiply this function by x. And if you look closely, that'll actually reduce one of the x's in the denominator. So the calculus is going to work out a lot better if we go with shells. So we're going to go ahead and choose the shell method, not the disk method. And let's go ahead and write that out. So our volume equals 2 pi integral x fx dx. We are about the y-axis, so we don't have to worry about uh, this being like big minus small. It's just going to be, in our case, x minus 0, or just x. So we'll fill in now all the values. So we're going from 4 to 6. And we have x times this 1 over x cubed plus 9x squared plus 14x dx. Okay, so now our x, our multiply by x is going to reduce the power of x in the denominator. It's going to cancel a little bit. So we have x squared plus 9x plus 14 dx. Okay, so now we're going to have to use partial fractions. Uh, now they've gotten here, I'm going to set up the partial fractions, but I'm not going to finish it all the way. So let's just go ahead, write, um, I'm going to write dot, dot, dot here, because I'm going to stop doing calculus. So do some more algebra on this partial fractions. We have 1 over x squared plus 9x plus 14. All right, 14 is a nice number because it's going to be a product of primes. And let's see how this factors. Should factor nicely. All these are designed to factor nicely. So 14 is either 14 times 1, but there's no way we're getting 9 out of that, adding and subtracting. Uh, 7 times 2. So it'll be a 7 and a 2. Now everything is positive, so it's going to have to be positive, positive. And that does give us 7 plus 2 is 9. So it'll give us the right middle term. So our first denominator, we'll just write the order I put them in here. And we'll go A and B. Now how do we do partial fractions? You multiply by the product of the denominators. Or you can think of it just multiplying by that denominator, but I wrote it in factored form. So it cancels out on the left. You have 1. A times x plus 7 cancels the divided by x plus 7. And over here on the b, the x plus 2 cancels the times x plus 2. You're left with x plus 7. So there's two smart x values to choose. One of them is negative 2. Plug that in and figure out, because that's going to zero out this term, you're going to get b. And then let x equal negative 7. That'll zero out this term. It'll give you a. Once you're done with that, you're going to take these two a and b. You're going to rewrite your original fraction up here. And the that's going to each turn into a natural log because they are degree 1 denominators.